The Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, welcomes you to the public information meeting for the U.S. 17 Safety Improvements Project in Volusia County, Florida. Financial Project ID Number 445-716-1 This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 445716-1. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by February 18, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded, and a presentation is available on the project's webpage located at cflroads.com slash project slash 445716-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being held in accordance with all state and federal regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5, Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367 or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida. 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. FDOT is proposing improvements along U.S. 17 from Spring Garden Avenue, also known as State Road 15A, to Ponce de Leon Boulevard in De Leon Springs. The project is 3.1 miles in length. FDOT also plans to widen U.S. 17 to four lanes from Ponce de Leon Boulevard to Lake Winona Road. The widening is part of a separate project, Financial Project ID number 410251-3 and is anticipated to begin construction around the same time as this safety improvements project. This project is the result of an access management study completed in 2019. The purpose of this project is to improve traffic operations and enhance vehicle and pedestrian safety. The goal of this project is to help reduce the number of traffic crashes while maintaining existing roadway capacity and to receive feedback from the community and local businesses to help understand the need for safety improvements along the corridor. To date, FDOT's outreach efforts for this project have included a coordination meeting with Louise S. McInnes Elementary School a local agency coordination meeting, and a hybrid meeting for local business owners along the corridor. 
The plans being shown tonight are based on the 2019 Access Management Study and do not represent the final recommendations for this project. The purpose of this public meeting is to receive feedback from the community about the proposed improvements and to better understand the needs of the community. Your feedback will be utilized to make necessary design changes. There are currently a total of 26 full median openings along the project limits. This project proposes to close 14 median openings and modify 12 median openings to directional openings. The project also proposes to construct two new directional openings within the project limits. Additional improvements planned for the project corridor include repaving, drainage modifications, minor lighting and sidewalk improvements, and widened shoulders to accommodate U-turns where needed. The purpose of these improvements is to enhance safety. Safety can be enhanced through access management by limiting the number of conflict points at a given intersection. Conflict points are places where two vehicles could cross paths and potentially collide. At a full median opening, there are more conflict points than at a directional median opening. Adjusting a full median opening to a directional median opening reduces conflict points. Reducing conflict points helps decrease the frequency and severity of crashes, thus increasing safety for motorists. Starting at the south end of the project at Spring Garden Avenue, the proposed improvements include modifications to the crosswalks and curb ramps at the signalized intersection. Median opening closures are proposed at the southern driveway of Blessing Motel and south of Better Fence. Modified median openings to directional openings are proposed at West Virginia Avenue and Woodbridge Road. Continuing north, Median opening closures are proposed south of Tangerine Inn and at Park Avenue. Median opening modifications to directional median openings are proposed at the north driveway of Tangerine Inn, at Golden Hills Boulevard, and at Mills Road South. Median opening closures are proposed at the opening north of Heavensgate Road at Fairport Avenue and at the Farmer's Market. A modified opening to a directional median opening is proposed at Mills Road North. Continuing north, modified openings to directional openings are proposed at Citrus Street, West Davis Street, and Katrina Street. Median opening closures are proposed at the median opening north of the Twin Brothers Bakery, at the median opening between Davis Street and Katrina Street, and at West Reddith Street. Continuing north, modified median openings to directional openings are proposed at Broderick Street and at Reynolds Road. A median opening closure is proposed at Berlin Street. The project plans to provide a median opening at Webb Avenue to allow left turns out of Webb Avenue. At the northern end of the project, median opening closures are proposed at Spring Street and at West Baxter Street. A median opening modification to a directional median opening is proposed at the East Baxter Street and Ponce de Leon Boulevard intersection. The project plans to remove the existing crosswalk and provide a new crosswalk at the new directional median opening. Overhead school zone flashing beacons are proposed north and south of the intersection to direct attention to the reduced speed zone. A modification to Ponce de Leon Boulevard is proposed to encourage slower speeds as vehicles approach US-17. North of Ponce de Leon Boulevard, improvements are being proposed near McKinnis Elementary School. The project plans to close the existing median opening at the school loop exit, restricting left turns out of the school loop. 
A new median opening is proposed just north of the school to allow for U-turns, along with a dedicated receiving lane for U-turns that can accommodate larger vehicles. These improvements have been coordinated with school administration. Our team will be coordinating with the team for the widening project throughout the design of both projects. As this coordination moves forward, some improvements planned as part of this project may be constructed instead with the widening effort FPID number 410251-3. A public meeting for that project is planned for later this spring. Design plans are expected to be completed in fall 2022 and construction is funded for summer 2023. The cost of construction is estimated at $3.8 million. To follow the status of the project, please visit the project page on the FDOT Central Florida website www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 445716-1 in the search box at the top right corner of the page, then click on Go. The recording of this presentation and all materials shown here tonight are currently available on the website. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by February 18, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing after the comment period. This public meeting is being recorded and a presentation is available on the project's webpage located at cflroads.com slash project slash 445716-1. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 445716-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at S H E L L E Y dot C H I N Q U E E at D O T dot S T A T E dot F L dot U S or by U S mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5439 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by February 18, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this public meeting, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project website at cflroads.com slash 445716-1. Have a good evening.